Loadouts are finally back. So here are my top 5 Hunter builds of Season 22. The first build we have is going to be the Moth Keeper's Wraps with the Hive Boomer. We're going to be using Arc Strider. Abilities don't really matter. For Aspects we want Flow State and Lethal Current. For Fragments we have Spark of Resistance, Spark of Ions, Spark of Discharge, and Spark of Shock. For mods, you want Harmonic Siphon and Grenade Kickstart. Every time you get a kill with this weapon, it will spawn one Arc Moth and one Void Moth. The moths created from this weapon will be able to proc Arc Siphon. You will keep spawning moths, using the grenade, and killing enemies with the Hive Boomer. Void Moth will prioritize teammates. The second build is a Lucky Pants build. The main hand cannon we want to use will be the Sunshot. If you want more DPS, you can use the Malfeasance instead. But you would have to tweak the build a little. Sunshot has become really good ever since the hand cannon buff. It synergizes really well when you're using a solar subclass. And it's also really good for ad clear. For abilities, the Marksman's Dodge, and Knife Trick. I'm also using a healing grenade for survivability, but you don't really have to use that. For aspects, we have On Your Mark, and Knock Them Down. For fragments, we want Ember of Mercy, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Tempering. You can use whatever you like for the other two fragments. For mods, we have Harmonic Siphon, Heavy-Handed, and Solar Weapon Surge. You don't have to use three of them. Obviously, if you're using Malfeasance, you'll be replacing this with Kinetic. Basically, want to throw Knives to proc Radiant, and swap to Sunshot whenever you have full ammo. We have Marksman's Dodge on, so we can always guarantee that we have full ammo. Getting kills with Sunshot will increase your recovery, and it will also spawn a Fire Sprite. Picking up the Fire Sprite will also grant restoration. This build is more for survivability, and if you want more DPS, you can go ahead and put on Malfeasance. But I believe Sunshot is better, overall. The third build is going to focus on the Orpheus Rig. You're going to want to use Deadfall for your super. I'm using Marksman's Dodge for the lower dodge cooldown, and I'm using the Void Wall Grenade. Aspects are not that important. You can use whatever you like. For fragments, we have Echo of Instability, Echo of Remnants, Echo of Reprisal, and Echo of Starvation. Of course, you're going to want to use a Void Weapon too. I'm using Graviton Lance. For mods, you want Ashes to Assets, Fire Power, and any other mod that will let you get your grenade faster. You're basically just going to be spamming your super, creating orbs for your team. You also want to throw your grenade after you super, so that you get extra super energy. And you also get volatile rounds on your void weapon. You're going to be spamming supers and grenades like crazy. And if you have a fire team, you will be making so many orbs. Even your teammates will be spamming their super. For the fourth build, we have Star Eater Scales. Probably the best hunter exotic in the game. You can use this exotic with any subclass you want. Void, Stolar, but my favorite is Arc. We'll be using Gambler's Dodge with Combination Blow, Low State and Lethal Current for Aspects, Spark of Resistance, and Spark of Feedback. The other two fragments are used to buff my grenade but you can use whatever you like for the last two fragments. For mods we have Harmonic Siphon and Heavy Handed. You want to use an Arc Weapon of course, and if your team has no debuffs you can use Tractor Cannon. You will still be able to keep up with DPS. You're going to be spamming melee attacks and making orbs, allowing you to get your super insanely fast. 
and also buffing your super when it's time for DPS. I forgot that like I'm the only fucking warlock here. I'm a warlock. Hey, you me. Then where's your well? Where's your well, guardian? I'm using arc staff. What? Arc staff. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fifth and final build will, of course, be the Gear Falcons. For aspects, you'll be using whatever you prefer. If you're using Crapper's Ambush, you want to use Gambler's Dodge. Other than that, you use Marksman's Dodge. For Fragments, I'm using Echo of Cessation, Echo of Obscurity, Echo of Reprisal, and Echo of Starvation. You can also put on Echo of Persistence if you want to stay invisible for longer. You're going to want a Void Weapon, of course, Harmonic Siphon, and any mods that will give you your class ability faster. Every time you come out of invis, you will get volatile rounds, and if you finish an enemy while you're invisible, you will get a damage boost, and give your fire team members an overshield that they can activate by using their class ability.